Hello Ian, um, welcome to After Art. Um, I set up this fine art photography gallery in November 2019, just before the pandemic hit, so not such a good time to start business. Um, the reason I started it was because I wanted to show the public that there are many, many talented photographers out there and not everybody who has a camera in their pocket, as we all do these days, can take a fabulous photograph. There are many skilled photographers um, who I feature in the gallery. Many of them have won awards around the world for their photography. Many of them have won awards in the UK in the Landscape Photographer of the Year, for example. Um, I have a photograph in the gallery by um, Anthony Wright. It was selected in 2021. It's a picture of um, a tree taken with an infrared camera near the Chalock. Um, it was in the book and um, Anthony inspired me to be a photographer um, way back about 10 years ago when I saw his landscape photography. He's such an amazing photographer, There's so much emotion in his um, images. Um, again I've got another photographer called um, Jane Simmons. Um, she wins awards in the Macro Photographer of the Year, um, in the Garden Photographer of the Year, um, but you've probably never heard of her. Um, I have many, many um, photographers in the gallery, similar. I've got a photographer who works at the William Harvey Hospital. He actually got his um, associateship and his fellowship of the Royal Photographic Society in the same year, which is virtually unheard of. Um, so he still works and um, I have some of his amazing images in the gallery. So in the gallery um, we have photographs and what I wanted to do was to show people that you know a photograph you know is worth more than a couple of pounds that someone like Fine Art America will pay to a photographer for their image um, and I think these images are, are worth that. Um, you know, a lot of people go to the range and, you know, various Dunham Mill and buy cheap canvases. But everybody else has got that picture. And if you come here, you can have something on your wall that very few people have. And you can also do it in a range of different uh, media. So because it's photography and it's digital, we can print it on different surfaces. So we can print on metal, we can print on acrylic. On wood, on canvas, um, which is well known, of course. Um, we can even do a uh, print on to HD metal, which you can put in your bathroom or in an outdoor area. So we have a lot of different options for people. And also, um, sizing. We can print in different sizes. So if you want something really big, because um, you know our images are printed with really high quality cameras, they will be sort of blow up to very big sizes. So we can do that. Um, we can give options for different frames and um, mounts and all sorts of things. So we can really cater to each individual's um, tastes. 
Um, another thing um, is that all of our handmade pictures are made to order, so you know when they're not mass produced. So if you come in and you want a particular image, um, either from our website, um, which we sell from um, www.arter-art.co.uk, or if you just want them to choose an image from the gallery, um, it's all printed on really high quality paper. So we're using really art quality papers, which are over 300 GSM. So so 300 grams per meter. So they're really heavy quality papers and they're all acid free. Um, some of them are made of cotton. Um, you know, we have a, a particular paper which is suitable for each individual print. And we really take a lot of care in um, you know, the choosing of what we print our images on. Um, then they're mounted in acid free um, mount board and then they're framed by hand um, and individually for me. So our pricing structure is really reasonable because our, um, our made to measure um, framed prints start at £135 for um, an A3 print or £85 for an A4 print. Um, so it's really a, a really reasonable price really for, for what you're getting. It's going to be something that's going to last over a hundred years in actual fact. Um, you know again the pictures that we get printed on metal, you know again they um, are really hard wearing and good quality. So this piece of work is by Anthony Wright, LRPS, so he's got his, um, actually he's got his association of the Royal Photographic Society, forgive me please Tony. Um, this particular piece um, was um, chosen in the Landscape Photographer of the Year last year, 2021. Um, it's actually in the book and it was actually on um, in an exhibition at London Bridge for the um, whole of 2021. So it's only available here to buy and this um, particular piece in um, this of the peg frame is £95, which I think is really reasonable. It's a stunning piece of infrared photography and the actual tree is taken out at um, Chalock which is um, just near us here in the Kent. I've also been um, pleased to, throughout the month of October, feature the work of um, Mr Rabbit, who is a real up-and-coming photographer. Um, we had an open evening where we sold five pieces of his work. Um, he's really um, sells on his emotional, um, and he's um, been through a lot in his life and um, so yeah he's a, a really up-and-coming photographer so we, we do feature work of up-and-coming photographers and other photographers so if you are one of those please do get in touch and we'll see what we can do to help you okay this piece of work here is by um, Ron Ostinet um, he was in the UK um, this piece is printed on a fabulous uh, paper called Hanamule Torshon. It's like a really thick watercolour paper. It's got a real texture to it. And many people that come into the gallery actually think this is um, a watercolour painting. Um, he is again um, getting um, a book made with all of these pictures in. So he's at the moment um, writing that. Um, and he's at the moment based in Hong Kong, but we can obviously sell his work from here in the UK. Um, and it cuts down on you know, global media because we have everything printed here and um, we can even send a free delivery to your home address from our um, small distributor in the UK. Again, each piece is made to order, so it's made just for you. And Rono does limited edition, so he only makes 15 prints of each. That's one five, 15 prints of each of his pictures. So it makes it really, really exclusive. And this piece here is £225 and it's for an A2 print, um, hand framed under anti-glare glass. Um, also got the work of Susan Dixon. Um, Sue Dixon, she doesn't like to be called Susan. Sorry Susan, Sue, Sue Dixon. Um, this particular piece won um, a trophy in the Royal Photographic Society in 2019 in their print competition. 
It's Sue is a fantastic composite photographer, so she takes more than one picture and puts it together into a montage and makes um, beautiful artwork. Again, this piece is hand framed um, in a wooden frame um, under anti-reflective glass and it's £165, which I think is really fair price. Um, the work above um, is by um, an artist in the United States called Dahlia Dreza. Um, she actually found me through my website. Um, a lot of photographers can't get taken into galleries because um, galleries just mainly want people who do painting. Um, and Dahlia sells her work in the United States for um, hundreds of dollars. Um, and she wanted an outlet in the UK, so we're lucky to have um, four pieces of her work for sale um, at very reasonable prices. Um, this piece here is actually a, a my own <laughs> work, um, but I'm showing it because it's on um, HD metal. So it's printed directly onto metal um, with a lovely modern box frame. So we can do this in you know huge sizes if you want it in a huge size, we can do it in a huge size. Um, and um, you can actually put it in your bathroom or in an outdoor area, which is really useful. And we can do that with any of the pictures here. So whatever you decided you liked, if you wanted it uh, for that reason, then we can help you with that. Here's a picture of Folkestone. Again, it's one of my own. I like to make my pictures look a little bit dreamy. I like to make them look a bit like um, watercolour paintings, really. So I do a lot of work in the editing, which I, lo I love editing photographs, and just to make them look sort of really oldie worldy as well sometimes. And I think this one does. It's the it's in Folkestone railway station. <laughs> exclusive as well because all of the artists that I have in the gallery um, only sell their particular work here. Um, we would be very welcome to come in and see the work of about 20 different photographic artists. Um, I share the gallery with um, Ludmilla, um, she's from the Ukraine and she makes um, her own jewellery in a workshop in her garden in Ashford. Um, she also makes ceramics and does some painting and ink drawing and she sells her original prints which start at £85 for an original print. That is such an amazing price. This is the east cliff up here, all the way along here. You can walk all the way along here, and then there's the Bartolo Town on top. Okay. Where they've got the little golf course here. I don't know if you've been up there. No. Oh, it's really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And obviously the harbour. This is where the tide down, so there's no water in the harbour. Mm. So you've got the nice lights. And in the Victorian times, they used to use all of these little um, huts. 
where people, their labels used to get changed. Ah, and okay. Go into the water. <laughs> and we that, wondered. that's why they are like that. Yes. Ah, okay. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Is it Grace? Never wanna fall away or lose my sight Am I hanging on too tight? 